Yo, what's poppin' my people? It's your boy Cooks the Great, aka CTG, and I'm back at you guys. Bro, get up. There's no way he's gonna fight Tom, bro. If he fights Tom at 301, he's foolish. I'm not gonna lie to you. He's he's foolish if he does that. Yeah, we gonna make you defend that. Able to connect with the right hand. Man, they are trading early and often. Here we go. Let's go. This can be a good fight. We knew it would. These guys are intent to make it happen. Ooh. Oh! Body shot. So more output, at least in the early going. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Whoa. Ah, I forgot Kev does that. Ooh, that last hook would have slapped him up. Continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Mm -hmm. the jab is on point right now. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Two minutes to go in round one. They're so evenly matched. And they're going tit for tat. Big power shot there. Hmm. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect it. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Under a minute to go in the round. Oh, he lands it. Oh, shot there on the inside. He's hooked out. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Oh! Oh! All right, so he's landed a few similar uppercuts already, DC. Got to think he goes back to it. I am almost certain. He's going to go and try to find another one of those. But expect him to really set down and try to make one really count hmm. to try to end the fight. Horn sounds for the He's striking with Sergey. He is in a train rush out the oh, gate. There's the horn indicating the end of the round. So the fighter now with a cut on his lip. That is something he's going to have to deal with. You see Tom has no competition in his division. Bro, division dog. He could literally fight Cyril Gone. He could fight. I mean, he obviously he's got to wait for for John Jones and Stipe, but he's got Cyril gone. He's got a couple of contenders he can fight. He could fight Curtis Blades again. You know what I mean? Like, there's a couple of people he can fight. Gone declined him multiple times, but now it's Gone's wanting to fight him, but now uh, Tom Aspinall doesn't really want to fight Gone. How did that hook hit me and I was down low? He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, no shots to the head will knock you out. Look at that. Make him defend it. Nice, nice, nice. Back to the feet. Still plenty of time to go here round 
Ooh. What was my favorite fight of UFC 300? Max and Gagey. Had to be. Bro, I keep getting hit. It's up to Got that. Wow, belly down. This could be it. Oh, it got out. Notice how he got his body all the way across to the opposite side. Now, he's in the on belly, but it's much better than where he was before. Like that. Under a minute to go. In the half guard. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that. Got that. Man's going to have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best. Nice. He blocked it. They are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse and it's only going to continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Nice. I was going to go for a fake. Didn't try to go for it, but good job. Yo, Guyanese, what's good, bro? Yeah, my favorite fight on UFC 300 was Max and Gaethje. Aldo was boring. Qatar didn't do anything. I mean, I think Calvin Cater. Calvin Cater, he really just. He really just was really afraid of uh, Aldo's grappling. Again. Transition. Nice. He blocked it. Nope. Take side title. You sit back on that leg. You press down into your opponent. You drop elbows. Drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the floor. Try to go for a dart. Give up that underhook. Your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both How to use it to get out of that corner. guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Look at that. Couldn't even jump into his guard. Low chin health. Still couldn't jump into his guard. Gonna get a trip. Jump into his guard. Take half guard. Got that. No, sir. Armbar. He has no stamp. He couldn't block it even if he wanted to. That Jiu-Jitsu. Max stole the show for sure. Yeah, he did, bro. Got him with the armbar. 
watch an athlete call a shot is always fun. He should be. I was up throwing wild shots to set up takedowns. <laughs> Cal Gator looked like he didn't even want to fight. I mean, he was just being cautious, man. It's just, I mean, when you're fighting a grappler like that, you got to understand that if you make a mistake, and seeing as how he's never even fought up there, so you don't really have footage of him fighting at featherweight, you got to kind of take your time, bro. You can't just be, be going reckless, you know what I'm saying? But, oh, no.